What up everybody, it's your boy The Smart Sneaker Head in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate all the support. We are at, yes, episode 10 of Last 7 Kicks. So for two and a half months I've been doing this every single week. I, week. I appreciate all the support. Sunday, your homeboy wore the Kobe 9 Elites. Now this is the only high pair that I have. I don't have all my other Kobe 9 Elites are the lows. So I'm really not a fan of the highs. This Brave Blue, I actually got this from KB24.com. Don't ever shop on Kobe Bryant's website. They didn't give enough postage when they sent it, so I had to pay like eight bucks out of pocket. And for months, I was trying to get that refunded back to me. No one ever did. So I don't like that whole customer service of the Kobe store. Uh, but this colorway was dope. Let's go to Monday. Monday, I wore one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. And most, and probably one of the most comfortable. I wore the Saucony Grid 9000s. Now this was my very first Saucony pickup that I got end of 2013 um, early 2014 but these are super super dope I've worn these dozens of times and the suede this only cost me 90 bucks all suede upper except for the collar here which is mesh but the suede was so beautiful it's still buttery super super dope that gum bottom just sets it all off and again for 90 bucks you cannot beat this price Tuesday I busted out my way of way too lows this is the Iceman colorway this colorway is wild you got that icy blue bottom 3m speckling all along the midsole and the entire upper is 3m it's crazy if I can find the picture I'll leave it up here of how it looks with the 3m but it is sick a lot of compliments that work with this shoe this was really to me the last good deep, uh, way away line. The threes were pretty good, but they weren't great. And the fours are just extremely overpriced and they went to the whole mesh system, you know, to focus more on performance as opposed to leathers and suede. But this was absolutely sick. Love this shoe. And this is what your boy wore on Tuesday. Wednesday, I busted out the Air Jordan 7 Hairs. Um, got these last year um, for retail. Um, pretty easy cop for me surprisingly even though they did sell out and I love my pair because my tongue has orange on here and the other one has predominantly green so I absolutely love that super clean but again what's more to say classic shoe Air Jordan 7 hairs Thursday I wore the Kobe 8 year of the horses I actually got this colorway from Nike.com on clearance for 80 bucks 80 bucks folks and Kobe 8s are some of the most comfortable and to this day many say some of the best performance basketball sneakers in Kobe's line or in any line for that matter now again super super dope this is a loud colorway and I love it turns heads all the time and um, this is actually my only Kobe 8 in my collection the biggest reason why is because I didn't really start getting into back into sneaker collecting until 2013 and by then the Kobe 8 line was just finishing and the Kobe 9 line was about to come out so um, if I'm not mistaken so that's one reason why I don't have uh, really any other Kobe 8 in my collection but definitely gonna go back and get more super super dope and comfortable this is what your man wore on Thursday Friday we all know what it is say it with me foam Fridays so for foam Fridays I wore the classic Air Foam Posit One Cough Drops. Yes, sir. Fire, Flame, Fuego. As most people and lover of foam say, the simplest colors were the illest when it came to the foam posits. These are super, super old. This is the 2010 release. So, um, look at the quality on this for 2010. The durability is crazy. And I got these for well under retail, like 150 bucks. So, Super happy to have these. This is what your boy won on Friday. The classic Foam Posit 1 cough drops. Lastly, on Saturday, finally decided to break these out again. I wore the Nike SB Marty McFly's or Back to the Futures or whatever you want to call them. Air Mag, SB's, whatever. These are sick. 
Um, I got these easily last year when they released them um, on Nike. You know, love that insole that looks like the hoverboard. Super, super clean, super, super sick. Only issue that I had with my pair is those big glue stain that you can see right there that came on it. But honestly, I didn't mind so much, maybe because they're SVs. And SVs, you know, they're not really meant to stay super clean. You're supposed to beat them up a little bit, but super, super dope, hella clean, very simple design. But yeah, this is what I wore on Saturday. And that is it. That concludes episode 10. Again, share this video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like down below. And uh, stay tuned for episode 11 next week. And with that being said, it's your boy, the smart sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.